Hi, I'm Andrew Odette, founder and writer for TheBachelorBasics.com. I don't know why people walk into these videos like that, but I figured I'd try it. Answer first question, yes, this is my real hair. And two, yes, this is my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own pizza dough in your home here on TheBachelorBasics.com. Stay tuned. All right, here are the ingredients you need. You need one cup of water. You will need half a teaspoon of quick rise yeast. That's what the package looks like. And that's what a half teaspoon looks like. You will need three cups of flour. I like to do two and a half cups of regular white flour and a half cup of whole wheat flour so I can say it's healthy. Uh, you will need a sprinkling of kosher salt. I use about a half teaspoon to a teaspoon. Uh, you'll figure it out as you go, but you do need to add salt for your dough. And finally, you will need some olive oil, about two teaspoons. This is a KitchenAid. Uh, if you don't have one, find a friend who does. It makes dough incredibly easy to make. Uh, so here's what we do. It's pretty simple. We have our three cups of flour. Uh, we dump that in. A la Pablo Escobar. And then we have our half teaspoon of yeast. And a teaspoon of salt. I usually put about a palm's full. That's my palm, that's all. Now we slowly drizzle in the water to make the dough. And finally we drizzle in the two teaspoons of olive oil to complete the dough making process. Take a pause here. The dough is still a little dry. You see it's kind of clumping up a little bit. We'll move the camera over here. Um, so the dough is still pretty dry. Um, so you can either add more water or oil. I'm pretty cheap, so I normally add water. Um, and we want to scrape down the sides of the bowl a little bit. So that's our next step here. All right, so now, unfortunately, I've added too much water. Uh, so this is the beauty of dough, and it's kind of touch and go. It depends sometimes on the humidity of the day. Um, or how heavy your pour is in my case. So it looks kind of like oatmeal right now. Uh, so I'm gonna add a little bit more flour and then it'll kind of congeal together into a nice dough ball. More of a consistent dough ball. We're gonna let that go a little bit just to knead it for us. And we're all set with the dough, we're gonna let it rest. All right, so here is our mound of dough. Um, it's a bit stickier than normal. So uh, we're gonna work it on the counter a little bit. So I put some uh, flour down and empty the uh, dough onto the counter. Um, we're just gonna knead it. So if you've never done it before, you kinda pull it back and push it out. Pull it back, push it out, pull it back, push it out. Um, so you see it's a little sticky, um, which makes it for a fun day. Uh, that's the beauty of dough, each one's different. Um, so you just see pull and push back, back out with the heel, pull back and fold. So we want it just to kind of be a nice little ball of dough, uh, which it's almost there. A little sticky. Uh, if it starts sticking to you, just put down a little more flour. You can put a little flour on your hands. All right, I am uh, pretty happy with this ball of dough. Um, so all told, it took maybe like five minutes to make um, with a little adjustments here and there because it was a little sticky and need a little flour, need a little water. Um, so pretty quick overall. Um, and now we have this nice dough ball. So the uh, final step is you're gonna put it in a bowl and oil the bowl with a little olive oil and then coat the ball of dough with a little bit of oil on top so it doesn't get a film. Then we're gonna rest, maybe we rest, the dough rests. And uh, I'm gonna go do some of my 30 crows if you haven't seen those videos yet, go check out uh, hashtag 30 crows, either on Instagram or on Twitter. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna make some pizza. We are back, pizza lovers. The pizza dough has been resting probably about four or five hours now. Um, you don't need to let it rest this long. If you can, please do, as it'll be a floofier technical term dough. Uh, the other thing I just did is I started to preheat the oven in the pizza stone to 500 degrees. Uh, if you don't have a pizza stone, uh, you can just use a cookie sheet or a cast iron skillet or your regular pizza pan. It is that time we have our risen dough, uh, flour on our workstation, 
and now it's time to roll out the dome. So hopefully it doesn't stick too much. You might want to flour your hands a little bit too so it doesn't stick. Uh, so we peel it back from the bowl. Um, so my goal is really to make four either mini pizzas or um, calzone. So I'm going to divide this dough in fourths using ooh, a pizza cutter. Uh, that's two. That's four. So we'll set these quarters aside. And I'll show you how to roll out the dough. All right, so we have our quarter of dough. Pretty pliable. Um, same like when we were rolling it out initially. Um, here we're gonna try and get it in a ball. So then we can just hopefully get a circle. They always make it look so easy on TV, but um, it doesn't work the same in real life. So uh, you kind of want to just work it, let the weight of it take it out a little bit. Um, if you had the dough in the refrigerator for some reason overnight, uh, you want to make sure that it gets back to room temperature. Uh, there's a song I always like to sing to myself when I handle dough, uh, going back to a uh, pottery class I took in high school. Uh, that was the favorite of everyone, I'm sure, and the teacher, uh, called Rolling Out the Dough. Uh, those of my family and friends know it well. Uh, it goes, Rolling Out the Dough. Um, this is why I'll never have a show on uh, a legitimate cable channel. Um, so we see we're starting to get a little bit of a circle. A little bit. So I sped up the film here. What I was doing was just evening out the dough. The edges were a little thicker than the center. So you just want to even it out so you have one consistent thickness of dough. Here through the magic of apple, uh, sped up making the other four rounds. All right, assembly time. We have uh, four rounds. We have arugula, pasta sauce. I have some more uh, odd Italian sausage that I cooked up and some cheese. So hopefully this goes pretty well. Uh, I put these on a uh, pizza peel. Uh, and then you want to make sure that they don't stick as we try and eventually slide them into the oven. So, uh, first we are going to put on some pasta sauce. Um, feel free to use jarred sauce. I prefer homemade, but you know, if you're trying to make something quickly and impress people with like, oh, it's homemade, uh, you might as well skip the steps of making homemade sauce and you can just use jarred. Uh, so I'm just going to put it on about half of the pizza round. Um, I have some other chunks of sausage in here too. Um, just kind of layer it in because ultimately you want to leave a border because we will need to seal these. Um, so you don't want to overfill them and then they leak all over the place. Essentially a giant pizza pocket. All right, so that's two of them. Uh, let's put a little arugula because greens are healthy. 2016, new year, new you. Uh, it will cook down, so just a little bit. We'll do one with, one without. Uh, and then I have uh, sliced mozzarella cheese. So I put a little bit of that in here. Okay. Nice slice of mozzarella. And this one I'm gonna put a little extra sausage. All right, so then I'll show you this one. So we will fold it over, okay, creating a little pocket. Got a little bit of arugula peeking out, so we'll close him in. And he's gonna press the two seams together, and then we'll use a little fork where you can pinch it uh, so it, it stays closed. But we have a not circular <laughs> oblong pizza pocket. And then let me finish these up and then we'll pop them in the oven. All right, it is time to put the calzones into the oven. Uh, it's been preheated to 500 degrees. Pizza stone is nice and hot. It's now the moment of truth of getting them off the pizza peel and onto the pizza stone. Hopefully they just slide right off. That can do it. Uh, 
amplifying. In they go. Probably about 10 minutes, hopefully. All right, close it back up. Now we wait, friends. Look at that. Gorgeous. Calzones. Ready for the dramatic reveal? Ooh. That's it. Dinner is ready. Uh, the calzone is nice and toasty, hot and crispy. Made a little arugula salad with cherry tomatoes. And uh, thank you for making it to the end of this video, however long it ends up being. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this inspires you to make your own pizza at home. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, poke around the bachelorbasics.com for more recipes and tips. Until next time, I will see you on the internet. Take care. The good life.